Hello there and welcome to the June 2018 Applied Paper. Here we're looking at question 6. A man throws a tennis ball into the air so that at the instant when the ball leaves his hand, the ball is 2 metres above the ground and is moving vertically upwards with a speed of 9 metres per second. The motion of the ball is modelled as that of a particle moving freely under gravity and the acceleration due to gravity is modelled as being a constant magnitude of 10 metres per second squared. Uh, the ball hits the ground t seconds after leaving the man's hand. Using the model, find the value of t. Well, in this question here, we have a SUVAT question. So it's going to be S, U, V, A, and T. And sometimes you might find it helpful to draw a little diagram of what's happened here. Effectively, what's happened is this is the ground. The man is uh, two meters before he throws the ball. It goes up and then down and hits the floor. Now, because of gravity, there's always going to be acceleration pulling this ball down towards the ground, which is 10 meters per second, acting downwards. Um, the um, vert moving vertically upwards with a speed of 9 meters per second, so that's as soon as the ball is thrown, it's going upwards with 9 meters per second. And we want to work out the time that it will hit the floor. OK, so we don't actually need to know the final speed. That final speed there is not important for this question here. And now we need to make a decision as to what direction we're going to set as positive. I think because we have two directions that we want to go as positive, we want, to travel it, we want it to travel downwards by two metres. We've got gravity acting downwards and we've only got one direction as positive. The it's one upwards um, value as positive. I'm going to take downwards as positive for this question. So I would like the ball to move downwards by 2 metres. The ball is initially travelling upwards with a speed of 9 metres per second. So because I've set downwards to be positive, I'm going to set u equal to minus 9. And gravity, which is 10 metres per second squared, acting downwards, where I've set downwards to be positive for this question. Now I need to recall the formula for s, u, a and t. That's going to be s equals u, t plus half a t squared. And substituting the values, it's going to be 2 equals minus 9t plus a half times 10, that's 5, 5t five squared. Let's move everything all onto one side and make ourselves a quadratic. 5t squared minus 9t minus 2 equals 0. So therefore we have 5t and t. I'm probably going to say that's minus 2 and plus 1. So therefore, we either get t equals minus a fifth or t equals 2. Now, it's definitely not going to be minus a fifth because that would be traveling backwards in time. But you can see why that minus a fifth solution may have appeared because it may have been if you started the timer 0.2 seconds before then and, and launched it with an initial speed, then it will have an initial speed at 2 meters high of 9 meters per second and then will come down and meet the ground again. But the answer for this question here is 2 seconds. So the answer for t is two seconds. And there we are, that's the answer for question six, worth four marks in total. Let's now move on to question seven.